Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am in my bathroom and today I'm going to be talking with you guys about a brand that is so popular in social media, everyone loves it, and that is Glossier. If you haven't heard about Glossier or don't know who they are, um, I'm gonna link an article below from New York Magazine. They recently did a piece on the founder, Emily Weiss, and gave a bit of backstory to the brand. I'm gonna tell you some products that I have tried from Glossier, some of my favorites, my not favorites, and what I can suggest to you. If you're in New York City, I highly suggest you go to their showroom. It's so pretty. It's on the top floor of their office. Um, I'll also leave the address below in case you're interested. It's in a cool neighborhood. And yeah, let's get to the products. First, let's talk skincare. I have two skincare products here. The first is the Milky Jelly Cleanser. Um, this is a fantastic cleanser. It has a really weird consistency. So as you can see, it is like a gel, but it also feels almost soapy in a way. It doesn't suds up like a regular cleanser would, like a clean and clear, um, but that's kind of what makes it really nice for dry skin. It doesn't leave your skin feeling really, really tight after you use it. And as you can see, because of the texture, you can use it on dry skin and then rinse it off. I love this cleanser so much. I think it's like 16 or $18 and a little bit goes a really really long way you can use this in the shower you can use this regularly I would say I do not suggest using this with like a facial cleansing brush like a Clarisonic or something else like that it doesn't really work well I think you really need like a good sudsy face wash um, but this works really well every single day Moving on, I have the Glossier Super Pure Serum. Glossier has three serums. This is the blue one, they have a purple one, they have an orange one. I know one of them is called Super Bounce. I don't know what the other one is called. And as you can see, I am almost out. I love the packaging, it's so sleek and clear and great. Um, this serum specifically is for skin that is prone to breakouts and redness, which I am. I have no makeup on, but you can see I have redness and I tend to get breakouts on my cheeks, my chin, my forehead. Um, and I find this is really helpful. I will say with this product, I, when I use it consistently, I notice a difference. If let's say I stop using this for about two weeks or so because I'm lazy, um, I, I don't really I, I noticed that it doesn't really help. I will say though, um, don't use that product too much because it can leave your skin very, very drying. So I would only recommend using it maybe about twice or three times a week. Now let's get in to the makeup. The next product I wanted to show you guys is this little thing. This is the Cherry bomb.com um, this is our universal lip salve and I got this because this one is actually tinted as you can see which is really great it is super 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 moisturizing so it's kind of between like a skincare as well as a makeup product um, it is super 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 moisturizing can't say it enough um, it does though like sit on your lips which kind of bothers me so sometimes instead I will um, use like Aquaphor but I really like using this especially if like I don't feel like putting on a lipstick or I want something a little nicer than like a lip balm it has a really great color to it um, it also it smells it kind of smells like medicine actually but it smells nice it smells pretty and like how cute is the packaging? You can just slip this in your purse and use it at the club. The next product we have is the Wowder in the color Light Medium. So this is a very interesting product. This is one of Glossier's newer products. It just came out um, towards like, I think like the middle, like, yeah, towards the middle of 2017. That's what the inside looks like. I went to Glossy and I asked two of the girls there, I said, what exactly is this? And they said, it is not a powder foundation. It is 
simply a setting powder you can have foundation underneath or if you have like a dewy moisturizer this will help to add color and mattify your skin and that's exactly what it does i really like this product i use it on a daily basis after i put my moisturizer on i also tend to get pretty oily like on my nose my chin and i find just using a powder brush that this is really great. It mattifies everything, adds a little bit of color. My foundation sits very nicely under this. I'm really, really impressed by how this works. Um, I don't look so matte, but it just kind of like lets everything sink in and sit and not move. And I'm really happy with this. I did not purchase the brush that you can get with this powder. I decided to use my own powder brush. Um, and the only downfall to this product I will say is do not let this sit upside down in your makeup bag. That happened to me. All of the powder was like at the top. I had to carefully open it. And there's a lot of powder at the top here. So I've been sparingly like trying to get it out. But yeah, just, just be careful where you store this. Now, one product that I did not like at all from Glossier. I tried to like it so much, but I just couldn't. It is the Generation G matte lip tint in the color crush this is not a lipstick but it's not a lip balm it's very matte and it is very light as you can see um i just found this color to look a little bit old lady after a while um i used to just keep this in my bag when i needed a little bit of lip color um and I just, this was like one of the first products I purchased from Glossier. I wanted to love it so badly, but it dried out my lips so badly and I just couldn't love it. And I, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Glossier. I just, I couldn't do it anymore. I really couldn't do it. It just was not for me. Um, I don't know even why I still have this in my makeup bag because I don't use it. I found every time I use this, my lips just would crack more. I always had to put a lip balm over it or underneath it and it just didn't work out for me, unfortunately. So, and then the holy grail, the holy grail of the Glossier products is it's just so great. Boy brow. I love boy brow. Oh my God. This is the third one I've purchased in like two and a half years. Oh, I freaking love it. This is the famous eyebrow. It's not even a pomade. It's not, a, I don't even know what you want to call it, but look how perfect this brush is. Oh my gosh. This is just, you need like the little, the littlest amount of product on your brows and it just sets them and tints them and your brows look so on fleek, it's amazing. This product is the greatest thing out there. They also make it in clear if you just want the setting gel, um, but if you have darker hair, they make black, and then they also make, I think, a blonde, taupey version. I love this stuff, my mom loves this stuff. I use this just about every single day, and every time I use it, especially if I have a lot of makeup on, I have friends that say, oh my God, your brows look so good, what did you do? Or I have friends that say, you used boy brow, didn't you? It is that, that great of a product. Like that great of a product. It is so freaking amazing. I can't begin to tell you. It's so good. Five out of five, 10 out of 10. You, everyone needs boy brow. Everyone needs this. Even if you fill in your brows with like a pomade or a pencil, you should set it with this stuff. Your brows don't freaking move. I love the stuff so much. If you guys are interested in any other Glossier products, um, I will leave a link below to their website. I highly suggest, like I said, go check out their store in Soho if you are uh, in the United States. I don't think they opened a permanent location in London, but they did have a pop-up in London. They did a pop-up in Paris as well a while ago, um, but check them out. They do ship internationally now to some countries, um, and they also have um some really good deals oh my god wait i forgot one last product that's the best product of them all that you get with every single purchase hold on a sec oh oh i love these bags so much glossier started making i don't even know how they do this these are like they're ziploc bags these are the best for traveling you get them with every single purchase they put your products in here they're lined with bubble wrap so your products don't break but they they seal they just they seal perfectly and they're clear. 
So you can bring them through the airport. This is like the greatest thing ever. And you can buy packs of these on their site because people were like, I don't want the makeup, just give me the bags. They're amazing, they're so amazing. You can see how excited I am about them. I always, 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 always use these bags wherever I go, whether I'm going on a plane or I'm just going to my parents' house. These bags are so great for bringing liquids and traveling. Oh my gosh, this is the best part about Glossier. When you buy products, you get you get the pink bag. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will leave my social down below and subscribe so I can see you next time. Bye.